Well, students at Roxborough High are burying a friend this afternoon. Just over a week ago, 14-year-old Nicholas Elizalde died after police say a group of teenagers opened fire outside of the school. I went to Susan Quare with Keisha Bailey is live at police headquarters where investigators have revealed more details about that case. Good morning to you, Akisha. Good morning, Howard. Well, police said in a press conference yesterday that they will not rest until all of these suspects are in custody. Now, they are interviewing several people who may be connected to the shooting. Now, police released this image of 16 year old Daron Bernie Thorne, who may have been the getaway driver for the five shooters who police say ambushed a group of teens, wounding several others, and ultimately killing a 14 year old boy as they were leaving a football scrimmage last week at Roxborough High School. Now, sources tell CBS 3 Thorne's DNA was recovered as evidence in aiding the gunman to escape. He's wanted on an active arrest warrant for murder and several other related charges. Police also revealed a second car was also used in the planned out shooting. We believe that there were a total of six persons, but we received information. We have information on eight. We have two suspect vehicles. We have a, a, a gray a gray um, um, Chevy Impala that we recovered. All right, so that that vehicle was being used to chauffeur the uh, the shooters back and forth to that that 2020 Ford Explorer. We know who you are, and you're just delaying the inevitable. And all you're doing by hiding is continuing to re-victimize the families of those that you harmed. Meanwhile, the family of 14 year old Nicholas Elizaldi held a visitation in Hunting Park where loved ones, football teammates, and emerging responders paid their respects yesterday. Now, that 14 year old's funeral is scheduled for today at 1 p.m. Reporting from outside of police headquarters, Wakisha Bailey, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Wakisha.